Good evening, everyone. FFA members, parents, and alumni and guests. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Tony Ober, and I currently serve as the FFA alumni president. I would like to welcome everyone to the 2019-2020 Streeter FFA Banquet. Although the banquet may look a little different this year, the objective is still the same. That is to honor the accomplishments of Streeter High School FFA students. I would like to share an interesting quote with you that summarizes the accomplishments, individuals, and organization. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, and studying, and sacrificing, but most of all, love. What you do and learning to do. Thank you. Hello, I am Jimmy Lansford, the Mayor of Streeter. It's an honor and privilege to acknowledge the accomplishments this past year by members of the Streeter High School FFA chapter. These student achievements were not only regional, but state and national levels as well. Some of the students we'd like to acknowledge are Caden Stasco, who took sixth place in the National Food Service, Aliyah Ogle took 11th place individual in the National Food Service. Aliyah Ogle is a star in agribusiness. Lance Mortz is a star in ag placements. Lance Mortz also was a national finalist in the nation. for diversified horticulture. Alec Austin took fourth place individual in the district creed speaking. Taylor Irwin took eighth place individual in the state job interviews. And Jacob Black, Aaliyah Ogle, Helena Ogle, Lance Mortz, Mackenzie Donahue, Cora Walker, Taylor Irwin were also state degree recipients. Taylor Irwin also received a fifth place individual award in the Dairy Foods and Helena Ogle had first place individual in the Dairy Foods section. The chapter of Streeter High School also was a three-star ag program in top in the nation. In addition, the Streeter FFA chapter sold 400 flats of strawberries from Florida, 125 poinsettias were sold, and 556 pounds of produce from their garden was donated to the community, and over $1,200 was raised to assist fellow FFA members in other states after national disasters. I know that Mr. Hinchy sets the bar very high for his students. These students we acknowledge today were from last year's class, and I am sure that this year's students will be challenged and offered the same opportunity to be successful. Thanks again for your positive contribution to our community, success in the future, and remember if you eat, you're involved in agriculture. Hello everybody, my name is Matt Seaton and I'm superintendent at Streeter Township High School. Thank you for this opportunity to address you tonight and welcome you to the virtual banquet for the FFA program for the year 2020. I know COVID has interrupted most everything in our lives right now, but 
the opportunity for us to recognize the program and these students is still important. So I thank everybody who took the time to put this virtual event together. In particular, I'd like to pay special consideration to a few students who stood out above all the rest this year. In particular, Caden Stasco and Aaliyah Ogle for their individual awards nationally. And Lance Morris, what else can we say about Lance other than he is a hardworking student who has achieved so many things throughout his FFA career. In addition, we had seven state degrees, and of course, the program has been rated as a three-star program, making it one of the top programs in the state and in the country. Congratulations to all of your success. We are extremely proud of you. And after COVID, we will return to normal. We are confident in that. Please keep doing what you're doing. Make our students successful. Thank you for all of your support and have a great virtual banquet. Welcome to the 2020 FFA Virtual Banquet. This is always a great event with so many accomplishments to celebrate. I always appreciate the strong community ties that our FFA has, especially with support from the FFA alumni. From the edible acre produce donations, to the strawberry sales, to the FFA jackets that are sponsored by so many of our community members, to the virtual Think Oink project, our chapter is so active and so strong. This fortunately is reflected in so many accomplishments for the group and individuals, like being recognized as a three-star ag program top in the nation group, to all of the state and national individual award winners. Thank you for all you continue to do to support agriculture and student leadership as a school and as a community as a whole. I'm confident that you will continue to do great things. The meeting room will come to order. We are now holding a meeting of the Streeter FFA chapter. Madam Vice President, are all officers at their stations. I shall call a roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President. The Sentinel, your duties by the door. Through this door, past many friends of the FFA, it is my duty to see that the door is open at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and help the president in maintaining order. The reporter, why are you stationed by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to Puerto Rico and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The Treasurer, your duties by the emblem of Washington. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements just as Washington kept his farm accounts carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among members and strive to build up our financial standings through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary, your duties by the ear of corn. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The plot manager, your duties by the tractor. The tractor serves as a strong symbol of production agriculture across our great nation ensures that our production is efficient and timely, just as we should be as members of the FFA. The agricultural plots provide important financial and learning opportunities for our members. Through diligence, patience, and motivation, I will strive to keep our plots in order and proper condition so they can benefit us for years to come. The advisor, why are you stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I'm asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Madam Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. 
If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare the 86th Annual Streeter FFA Chapter Banquet duly open for any transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. Well, good evening, everyone. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Ivory Wright. Tonight is always a night to look forward to, as well as reflect on our past years of success, and even recognize some areas we need to improve in for the upcoming year. I would just like to take this time and thank you all for joining us and supporting our growing student organization. Everything you see here tonight was done, put together, and conducted by many members of the ag community. We hope you enjoy yourselves this evening and thank you once again for your support and guidance. The FFA Foundation is a funding body for the FFA organization at the state level. Each year, over $325,000 are raised, and uh, this year the Streeter FFA chapter was able to meet its goal of raising $2,000 to donate towards the FFA Foundation. Uh, these funds are used uh, not only for the day-to-day -day operations of the Streeter of the state FFA, but also for officer expenses, leadership training, and awards for FFA members. Um, we would like to recognize several of the local businesses and individuals who donated towards the FFA Foundation in 2020. Um, at the $50 level, we had Grain Co. FS, Lucky Logistics, and Streeter Onized Credit Union. At the $100 level, we had Glasscock Farms, Curtis and Linda Edema, Deke Trucking, Jeff and Mary Mortz, John and Lauren Hinchy, Missile Farmers Grain Company, Novak Rinker Vet Clinic, Ruff Brothers, TNS Quick Enterprises, Talty Polaris, and Linda Ober. At the $200 level, we had Vactor Manufacturing. And at the $250 level, we had Kelly Sauter Roof Piper Equipment. Please help me thank the, member of the members of the community for their, their support. If anyone is interested in donating in the future, please contact Mr. Hinchy, and he will let give you all the information. Thank you. The FFA Cree by M. Tiffany. I believe in the future of agriculture, with a faith born not of words, but of deeds. Achievements won by the present and past generations of agriculturalists, and the promise of better days through better ways, even as the better things that we now enjoy have come to us from the struggles of former years. I believe that to live and work on a good farm or to be engaged in other agricultural pursuits is pleasant as well as challenging. For I know the joys and discomforts of agricultural life and hold an inborn fondness for those associations which, even in the hours of discouragement, I cannot deny. I believe in leadership from ourselves and respect from others. I believe in my own ability to work efficiently and to think clearly with such knowledge and skills I can secure, and in the ability of progressive agriculturalists to serve our own and the public interest in producing and marketing the product of our toil. I believe in less dependence on begging and more power and bargaining in the life abundant, and enough on a swell to make it so, for others as well as myself, and less need for charity and more of it when needed and being happy myself and playing square with those whose happiness depends upon me. I believe that American agriculture can and will hold true to the best traditions of our national life and that I can exert an influence in my home and community, which will stand solid for my part 
and the inspiring task. Thank you. In the National FFA organization, FFA members can receive a series of di five different FFA degrees. Their discovery degree, their green hand degree, their chapter degree, their state degree, and their American degree. The Streeter FFA chapter does not have an eighth grade agricultural program, so the green hand degree serves as the foundation for our program. For the green hand degree, FFA members must maintain the following requirements over their first year of FFA membership. They must begin and maintain a foundational or immersion supervised agricultural experience, complete 180 hours of agricultural education instruction, demonstrate an understanding of FFA history and proper use of the FFA jacket, maintain active FFA membership through the participation of FFA events, and learn about the FFA creed, motto, mission, and the FFA colors. The Green Hand degree serves as that foundation for FFA members to continue to seek other FFA degrees within our chapter. We will now recognize our Green Hand FFA recipients. Elena Durden. Alexandra Austin. Alexandria Smith. Allie Bauer. Anna Martin. Austin Shepard. Austin Taylor. Brandon Tulte. Braden Motsko. Brian Motes. Charlie Borrell. Chelsea Donahue. Chelsea Knox. Chloe McStutes. Dylan Mustin. Ella Westrick. Esperanza Mendoza. Gage Adlington. Jaron Black. Joey Kuhn. Cadence Dobbins. Kaylee Lewis. Kenzie Bruce. Coyote McNeil. Mark Garcia. Matthew Price. Mia Granados. Nevea Candela. Parker Phyllis. Socora Pratt. Seth Miles. Trevor Talty. Congratulations to these green hand degree recipients. Each green hand degree recipient will receive a certificate and a pin for their official FFA jacket. Congratulations, everyone. Every year, the Streeter FFA Chapter Officer Team recognizes one green hand for the Star Green Hand Award. This FFA member has gone above and beyond the call of duty. They maintain their record book throughout the course of the year. They attend a wide variety of FFA events, are outgoing and fun to be around, as well as recognize the wide variety of different things that the FFA can offer them. It is that time that we now recognize our star green hand. And your 2019-2020 star green hand is Alexandra Austin. Congratulations, Alex. Hi, my name is Lance Morris, and this evening I am going to tell you about the Three Point Project. In the fall of 2016, Streeter Township High School Ag Department began the Think Oink Project partnership with Brockman Farms of Verona, Illinois. Oink being an acronym for Observing, Innovating, Networking, Kinesthetic, and Learning, 
This innovative project educates students about many processes it takes to produce marketable pork products. Through this project, students get to see the experience of artificially inseminating the sow at Brockman Farms, in which the sow will stay at Brockman Farms until she is starting to show signs of giving birth. After that, she will be transported to Streeter Township High School, where she will be put into her family crate roughly three weeks prior to birth. Through this process, we would like to thank Brockman Farms, Early Bird Feeds, Showtime Sires, and Streeter Township High School for, an al for allowing us to do this project. Without the opportunity of doing this project, they would not be able to show our students the process of pork producers and breeding sows on the farm. Thank you. In order to thank our sponsors, Brockman Farms, Streeter Township High School, Showtime Sires, and Early Bird Feeds, we have purchased banners to give to them for their generous sponsorship for the Think Link Project. Thank you. My name is George Lukech, and I want to thank, uh, take this uh, opportunity to express my thank you for uh, being part of the Blue Jacket program. Um, in the fall of 2019, Streeter FFA officer team recognized the whole in the Streeter Ag program. With diligence, effort, and discussion, and teamwork, this hole was filled not with sand, dirt, gravel, or clay, but with corduroy as the Streeter FFA Give the Gift of Blue program was born. The program was designed to allow all FFA members the opportunity to own their own FFA jacket with their name stitched across the front, regardless of their background, involvement, or resources. It was this officer's team goal that by providing jackets to our members, their self-worth and confidence would soar. FFA jackets help members feel as if they belong and allow them to jumpstart their FFA journey. It is with pride that I thank you, the donors, for their time, dedication, support, and labor to assist our members by giving the gift of blue. Last spring, we had 14 donors with 15 jackets sponsored by local community members. With each sponsorship valued at $65, the total of $975 in jacket sponsorships. We would like to take a moment to thank the following individuals for their support and sponsorship. The Harrison family, the Irvin family, Dave and Jennifer Irving, the Carr family, the Young and McCormick family, the Motsko family, the Mortz family, Ed Comiskey. Edward Jones Investments, Ben Hiltebrand, Lance Mortz, and we had an anonymous donor, Mary Joe and Gary Hiltebrand, Calty Polaris, Jody Ogle, and Tom Nowak. And we thank them. I'd like to just to touch one thing on, on a little bit of the history of Streeter FFA. Agriculture started in uh, Streeter High School in 1933 with Mr. Walter Basinger. I had the good fortune of experiencing his instruction the last four years before his retirement. He was a man of extraordinary teaching ability and dedication. He served the FFA advisor for 33 years at SHS. We also, you know, we also have anchors in our life, parents to start with, and people who confide in us and we in them. And these people are called our anchors. Mr. Basinger was truly one of my anchors and has been a great part of my life, making me proud to have worn the blue jacket. Then in 1977, Mr. Larry Kolb was named instructor at Streeter Chapter FFA. He taught and advised for 34 years until his retirement in 2011. He expressed the same commitment and dedication to FFA at Streeter High School. Now I see the same thing happening. A young man, highly educated, highly motivated, and dedicated 
and continuing the strong ag program at Strader High School. Giving the gift of blue means to me the opportunity through education for young adults to experience the opportunities in agriculture. I feel privileged to be able to be a part of the program of the giving of the gift of blue for Streeter FFA. And one thing I want to show you before we part, I have here in my possession my jacket that I wore when I was in FFA. And that's a, I, I, I appreciate it. So thank you very much and have a good day. <clears throat>
pointer. Dominic Selvage. Emily Montavo. Hayden Stewart. Ivory Wright. Janice White. Jennifer Lyle. Jesse Lopez. Josh Carr. Kendall Killian. Christina Ginn. Kyle Schaffner. Lacey Irvin. Lily Killian. Lenaya Anderson. Sebastian Zikanowski. Sierra Dellinger. Estefania Pantoya. Congratulations to our chapter FFA degree recipients. Hi, my name is Abby Skinner. I participated in FFA for four years and served as the 2018-2019 Streeter FFA president. Um, over the course of this last year, Streeter FFA's program has seen outstanding growth in all areas, including our career development events. In 2014, we competed in a total of three career development events, and this year we will compete our, complete our academic year with 10 career development events that students compete in. Each CDE requires a minimum of 20 hours of training, with one team putting in well over 60 hours of training and practice this year. Due to our member success, we have been recognized as a competitive chapter not only within our section, but also within the state of Illinois. To explain our career development events to you a little bit more, each CDE or contest starts with preparation at the chapter level. Once students have been prepped, they then participate at the section level where they compete against 12 other schools in our section. Depending on the contest, students may either move on to the district level or move straight on to the uh, state competition. What is the purpose of a CDE, you may ask? Well, to allow students to not only gain more understanding about a facet in agriculture, but to also allow them to explore more passions. Um, this year, uh, Streeter FFA participated in the AgCom CDE. Team members consisted of Helena Ogle, Aliyah Ogle, Taylor Irvin, Caden Stasco, and they placed third in state at the 2019 State FFA Convention. Um, ag business participating were Helena Ogle, Aliyah Ogle, Taylor Irvin, Claire Phyllis, and Anna Nelson, placing fifth and second. Uh, the Ag Ed CDE placing second in state, um, Aliyah Ogle participated. The Agronomy CDE. Uh, participating members were Daytona Davis, Kelly Connor, Alex Austin, and Mackenzie Donahue, and they placed 31st in state. The Dairy Food CDE uh, participating were Helena Ogle, Taylor Irvin, Jennifer Lyle, Sierra Dellinger. They placed 6th in state. Uh, Helena was t the 10th place placed individual in state, and Sierra was 15th placed individual in state. Uh, the job interview CDE team members were Taylor Irvin, and she placed eighth in state. Uh, the public speaking CDE uh, participating was Alex Austin, and he placed fourth in district. The food science CDE, uh, Aaliyah Ogle, Tristan Geary, Mackenzie Donahue, and Caden Stasco participated. They placed 11th in the nation. And the Food Science CDE team had an amazing run as they competed at the 2019 National FFA Convention in Indianapolis, Indiana. This team had a lot of fun, got to experience convention in a different way than most students, and really had a great chance to bond. Their overall placings were great. Aaliyah placed 11th in the nation. Caden placed 6th in the nation. Uh, Tristan placed as a silver participant. And Mackenzie placed as a bronze participant. Uh, the new Food Science CDE uh, team members consist of Ivory Wright, Alex Austin, Alex Gomez, and Emily Montalvo. Uh, they placed ninth in the state out of 17 teams. And the Vet Science CDE uh, 
Team members consisted of Taylor Irvin, Sierra Dellinger, Janice White, and Jenny Lyle. Uh, they placed 17th in the state. Taylor placed 51st, and Sierra placed 70th. Thank you. A Supervised Agricultural Experience, or SAE, project is a 100% requirement for all FFA members within the Agricultural Education Program. Now, an SAE project can be in a wide variety of different areas, such as an FFA member can uh, maintain an SAE project in a paid or unpaid placement, entrepreneurship, agri-science and research, foundational, school-based, and service learning and the FFA members may maintain a wide variety of different projects. FFA members must maintain their record book in order to receive a multitude or the five different degrees that they can achieve throughout the course of their FFA career. Additionally, FFA members can take this opportunity to compete in many different proficiency areas, from veterinary science to grain production placement, and diversified horticulture to ag processing, wildlife management, all the way to beef production entrepreneurship. Students have a wide variety of different areas that they can show their true passions for agriculture. Tonight, we would like to recognize our students that are not only our chapter winners, but also our section, district, and state winners as well. These projects take hours and hours of time Preparation, preparation, skill, and truly allows these students to develop skills that allow them to be productive members of our society. More importantly, it really allows them to develop a passion for the facet of agriculture that they are truly passionate about. We are excited to recognize our following SAE project holders. The following individuals competed in the 2019-2020 Section 7 proficiencies. Audrey Onbeck, Taylor Irvin, Josh Carr, Mackenzie Donahue, Aaliyah Ogle, Sierra Dellinger, Cora Walker, Helena Ogle, and Lance Mortz. I'm now going to take a few minutes to talk about each student and their SAE projects. Audrey Ondek maintained a wildlife management SAE project where she built duck boxes and then installed them around her family's home. She was a chapter winner. Taylor Urban maintained three different agricultural SAE projects, one of them being in the area of nursery and landscape, the second one being uh, in the area of agricultural education, and the third one being in ag science research animal systems. Through her nursery and landscape, she's employed at Dan Chris Nursery. Uh, through her Teach Ag or Agricultural Education SAE project, she was a Teach Ag intern at Streeter Township High School. And then her Ag Science and Research Animal System, she maintained two different animal research projects. She was the chapter and section winner with her Ag Science Research Animal Systems project. Josh Carr maintains a diversified horticulture SAE record book where he not only owns and maintains his own landscaping and turf grass management business, but he's also employed at Westgate under the direction of Jeff Williams and also assists in landscaping and turf grass management there. He was the chapter and section winner. Mackenzie Donahue works at Stock and Field and is in the area of ag sales placement. Mackenzie was the chapter winner. 
Aaliyah Ogle is in the area of agricultural processing and she owns Blue Eyed Rascal Banking Company. She was the chapter, section, district, and state proficiency winner in the area of agricultural processing. She was also the state star in agribusiness for the 2019-2020 year. Sierra Dellinger maintained a veterinary science SAE record book in which she worked at Countryside Animal Clinic and was a chapter and section winner. Cora Walker maintained multiple SAE projects in which she was in the area of safety, home and community development, specialty animal production, and vegetable production. Cora uh, was a lifeguard, assisted in um, her or maintained her honeybees under the area of specialty animal production, and then also she maintained a garden there at her own home. She was the chapter and section winner in the area of ve vegetable production. Helena Ogle maintained many multiple or many SAE projects in the area of vegetable production, uh, agricultural education, and food service. In vegetable production, she maintained a CSA her freshman year, as well as in the agricultural education uh, SAE project, she was a TCHAG intern. And finally, she was also employed at Blue Eyed Rascal Baking Company, Erin Streeter. She was the chapter, section, and district winner in the area of food uh, service, and she competed at state this last year. Lance Mortz maintains multiple SAE record books and on his own family farm in the area of soil, or excuse me, in the area of soybeans production, corn production, turf grass management, landscape, ag sales, sheep production, and swine production. This year, uh, he competed in the area of diversified crop production, and he was the chapter, section, district, and state proficiency winner in the area of diversified crop production. Lance was also the state star in ag placement. We are extremely proud of all of our proficiency winners and are hoping that they take the skills and knowledge that they gained through their SAE projects and apply it to their goals in their future. Congratulations to all of our SAE winners. Through our many ups and even our downs, concerns, and so much more, we are very fortunate to have a dedicated, passionate, and strong team that is, stands behind us at the Illinois FFA office. One of the members of this team spends countless hours devoted to the betterment of not only our chapter, but the Illinois Association FFA as well. And she continues to remind us every single day that we always can have more to strive for.
She served as an Illinois Association State FFA officer for two years back in her day. She was an Illinois agricultural educator, worked for the facilitating coordinators of agricultural education, and today serves as our executive director for the Illinois Association FFA. It is with great pride, enthusiasm, and respect that I introduce you to one of our favorite cheerleaders, Mrs. Mindy Bunzelmeyer. Have you ever heard the expression, it all starts with an idea? Whenever I'm faced with a big challenging question like that, I turn to a children's book. And my favorite children's book to answer this question is what to do with an idea. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why was it here? And what do I do with it? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it and acted like it didn't belong to me, but it followed me. I worried, what would others think of my idea? What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't want to think about it. I tried to act like everything was the same before my idea came around, but there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food, and actually it wanted a lot of attention. And it grew bigger and bigger, and we became friends. So then one day I decided to show it to other people. Even though I was afraid of what they would say, I was afraid that people would say that it was strange, that they would laugh at it, or they would act like it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and it would never amount to anything. And at first I believed them. I actually wanted to give up on my idea. I wanted to walk away from it. And I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea and no one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different or if it's weird or strange, or maybe even a little crazy. I decided to protect it and to care for it. I fed it good food and I worked with it. I gave it a lot of attention and my idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. I built it a home, a home where the roof was open, open to the stars so that it could feel safe and it could dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive like I could do anything. It challenged me and encouraged me to think big and then think bigger. It showed me its secrets. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't even imagine my life without my idea. And then one day something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, it took flight, and it burst into the sky. I didn't know how to describe it. It went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just part of me anymore. Now it was part of everything. And then I knew. What do you do with an idea? You change the world. Friends, it's ideas that changed the world. It's the ideas that Streeter FFA had that changed your world. It's the Think Oink Project. It's Edible Acre. It's being semi-aware. Those all started as ideas in your FFA chapter. And now your FFA chapter is a national chapter finalist in strengthening agriculture for helping your community and your classmates be semi-aware. It all started with an idea of a young lady from your FFA chapter who started her own bakery, Blue Eyed Rascal. She went on to become a state proficiency winner and is our star in agribusiness this year. All started with a young man who decided to keep records working on his family farm. He's a two-time state proficiency winner, national proficiency winner, national proficiency finalist, and our state star in ag placement. 
It all started with a young man who decided to follow in his father's footsteps and become an ag teacher. And luckily, Streeter High School hired that young man to become their ag teacher. And now Streeter FFA is on the map, not just in Illinois, but nationally. And it all started with those ideas. They're your ideas. Oftentimes when we think of the world, we think of it's too big for me to make an impact. I can't make a difference. But your ideas can, because the world we're talking about is the hallways that you walk in with your schoolmates. It's the ag classroom you sit in with your fellow FFA members. It's the community that you serve with your service projects. That's the world where you make a difference. That's the world that you change with your ideas. Friends, I encourage you to embrace and feed and nurture your ideas. Let them take life. Continue to do the amazing things you're doing in your community. And what will you do with an idea? If anyone says it all starts with an idea, you'll know that you change the world. For the scholarship award, the Streeter FFA chapter likes to recognize students who are able to carry a 3.0 grade point average or higher and maintain all of their responsibilities as a Streeter FFA member. This year, the Streeter FFA chapter had 41 students achieve that honor. They are as follows. Alex Austin, Haley Berry, Laura Berry, Jaron Black, Jacob Back Black, Char Charlie Burrell, Carly Berwick Pointer, Mackenzie Bruce, Nava Candela, Joseph Kuhn, Daytona Davis, Haley Dimmig, Mackenzie Donahue, Elena Durden, Christina Goon, Amanda Hayes, Angela Hayes, Taylor Irvin, Lacey Irvin, Kendall Killian, Chelsea Knox, Kaylee Lewis, Jennifer Lyle, Braden Matsko, Avery McClotsky, Coyote McNeil, Chloe McStutes, Emily Montevello, Lance Mortz, Anna Nelson, Helena Ogle, Whitney Osland, Estefania Pontoja, Parker Phyllis, Hayden Stewart, Brandon Talty, Trevor Talty, Nidalin Tapia, Austin Taylor, Ella Westrick, Janice White, Ivory Wright. Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 FFA Banquet. My name is Ali Boroshik. I am currently an FFA alumni member. While I was in high school, I was involved in various CDEs, along with being a member on the officer team, which I graduated in May of 2016. It is with great honor that I was asked to recognize the students who will be receiving the Most Improved Member Award. For FFA, it is important to always continue to try to improve the chapter along with its members. So for this award, this member has shown exceptional growth throughout the last year in their leadership abilities, participation, and contribution to the chapter. Their individual SAEs are also considered for this award. I am honored to be able to recognize two students this year instead of just one, the first student being Jenny Lyle and the second student being Alex Gomez. Congratulations, guys. Keep up the great work. We're Dave and Jennifer Irvin, Taylor Irvin's parents. Uh, you know, when Taylor left North Lawn, she wasn't really sure what she wanted to do. Uh, she knew she was going to try out cheerleading. She did that for two years, along with being in ag classes and FFA. But then it wasn't until her junior year she really uh, figured out that the FFA was where she belonged. And she just continued to grow and become more active. 
and by the time her senior year came, she ended up uh, becoming president, and we're just really proud of her, uh, how serious that she took that commitment, and it was really important to her. Uh, she spent a lot of hours at home. We, we've seen that, witnessed that, and she just, it was really, she really wanted to get other kids involved, and it was important to her. And, uh, you know, so she, you know, her confidence level grew as she did these SAEs and, and the CDs, and she just, uh, it was amazing to watch this year unfold, and, it, you know, it was just a special group of kids, uh, you know, and, and the parents involved. I mean, it was just everybody treated everybody else's kids as if they were their own, and it was just really neat to see. Um, and, you know, we just... We just so proud of her and all of our accomplishments and all these kids that got their state degree and all the ones that are, are gonna get their state degree in the years to come. Um, we, you know, Taylor just she she loved the FFA program so much that that's what she decided that's what she wants to do for the rest of her life. She always wanted to be a teacher, uh, elementary teacher actually, and then it wasn't until she came across Mr. Hinchy and what he showed her what was available in the FFA. And uh, that made her want to be, you know, an ag teacher for the rest of her life. So she wants to be involved in the FFA. So she's currently attending IVCC, plans on transferring to ISU. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what happens from there. But we're excited for her future. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, we just can't thank Mr. Hinchy enough. We can't thank the alumni for their support uh, and just all the other parents and uh you know that are involved and, and help this program go it's grow it's really uh it's really exciting to watch and we can't wait to see what the future holds for all these kids thank you I would like to take this opportunity to say a couple words about Aaliyah Ogle. I have known Aaliyah for several years now through FFA. One of the things that I love about Aaliyah's involvement in FFA is how much growth it's provided for her. I have seen her grow tremendously in the areas of leadership and responsibility, although she's always been a pretty responsible kid. Um, I've been able to see so many different changes in her in terms of organization and her people skills um, and just overall confidence. Um, Aaliyah's SAE projects in the areas of um, Ag Internship and Blue-Eyed Rascal have helped her in so many ways. Um, she's been able to get to know people a little bit better. Um, she's been able to learn about personalities and how thing, people interact with different personalities and similar personalities. Th through Blue Eyed Rascal, she's learned how to balance her time. Um, she's done a great job trying to balance her work life with her school life and her social life and her personal life. All those things are super important life skills um, besides just leadership and organization and people skills that she's learned from Blue Eyed Rascal. Having that work-life balance is so important, and I think that that's certainly going to serve her well in the future. Um, her SAE has a huge impact on her future in terms of Blue Eyed Rascal and the Ag Internship, I believe. Um, Aaliyah will need to know in the future how to deal with people. And I think that's probably one of the biggest things that she's um, picked up from that. I'm super proud of Aaliyah for earning her state degree. Um, a state FFA degree is nothing um, less than amazing. And Aaliyah, you've done a great job with that. I am so proud of you, Aaliyah, and everything that you have done. Um, I remember seeing you always being the kid with the smile on her face, and now you have all of the skills that you've learned through your SAE and through your involvement with FFA to put that smile on your face to good use in the real world. 
I'm really proud of you and I hope that you will continue to put your best foot forward with the skills that you have learned from FFA. This video is for Helena. Helena, I just want to congratulate you on your success in the FFA program here at Streeter Township High School. I want to also congratulate you on your SAE, your supervised agricultural experience. Through your determination and your fruition, you have stepped, si stepped outside of the box to achieve goals that ordinary high school students never would have thought about. You took an idea, you implemented it, you, you took a leap of faith to say, and arrived at your destination. I think more children who have that opportunity, or young people I should say, to go forward with an idea and a promise to themselves to fulfill that idea. Um, I'm very proud of you and your success that you achieved. Not only did I think about a couple years ago as I was sitting at the 4th of July celebration and being a judge for the talent contest, when these two young ladies came out of nowhere to perform an Irish folk dance in the middle of Streeter Township High School football field, that I would have a connection with you later down the road. It's a small world after all. I, from that first experience to now, with you sitting in my classroom, there's nothing that you can achieve. I'm so excited and so proud to have a little inkling of your success. But I know it's through the FFA program that you have blossom and that you've explored and that you are taking um, the reins of new opportunities. I just want to give you some words of encouragement to go forward. Don't uh, settle for second best. Um, be the person, the young woman who you are and just build on that. There are a couple things I would like to share with you and those would be in some motivation pro, uh, posters that you may not remember or maybe you do remember in my classroom. Those being Motivation for success. Keep your eye on the stars and your feet on the ground. Second, motivation for success. If there's no win, roll. And I think you've done that, you and your sister. But this is the one that I want to point to. And I know there's a glare on it, but destiny. A matter of choice or a matter of chance. At the crossroads, as you embark now on your new adventure, I only wish you success. Thank you for producing, and thank you for being um, a star in our crown here at Streeter Township High School. I only wish you the best that life has to offer, and I just wish you take that leap of faith again and again and again. Congratulations, Helena. Very proud of you. Thank you. Hi. I want to take a couple minutes to talk about Cora Walker. Cora has also earned her state FFA degree. Super proud of you, Cora, for doing that. Um, I have seen the difference that FFA has made in Cora's life. Um, I have had Cora in class for several years in a row now, and I am so proud of her and all the involvement that she's had in FFA. Um, earning a state degree is a big deal. And Cora, I know you worked really hard on it, um, and it wasn't all fun. There was laughs and there were tears, and I've witnessed some of that. And so I'm really proud of you for sticking with it and for doing what you needed to do to get that accomplished. Your SAEs have helped you in things that you are already interested in to develop and grow even further. Um, your SAE in safety, lifeguarding, giving swim lessons, um, perfect for you, Cora, just perfect. Helped you develop some confidence, I believe. Um, I've seen the confidence in you blossom through your involvement in FFA and through your SAEs. Um, your work with specialty animal production and honeybees and vegetable production with the edible acre has also helped with developing some people skills. Um, you used to be very shy and timid when talking to people, and now I feel like you have a lot more confidence and you are more of a um, advocate for yourself, and that is great to see. And I believe FFA has helped you develop those skills. 
Um, really, really proud of the impact that FFA is going to have on your future, Cora. I know that you will be successful because you've had these skills that you've developed through FFA. Um, organization skills, people skills, um, just the confidence that I've seen in you over the last few years has been amazing. And I'm really proud of your growth and I'm really proud of you. Hi, my name is Mary Mortz and my husband Jeff and I are the parents of Lance Mortz. Lance is a state degree recipient this year and we could not be more proud. Lance's passion for the agriculture industry began when he was two or three years old, when he would farm my living room carpet with his toy tractors and plastic grain bins, and I would follow behind picking up small kernels of corn left behind from his harvest. In elementary school, Lance couldn't wait to get to high school so that he could join the FFA program. As he entered the doors of Streeter High School and Mr. Hinchy's classroom, he was a shy, quiet young man. So as you can imagine, I was pretty surprised in October of that year when he came to us and wanted us to attend an informational meeting regarding the Agriculture in Ireland tour scheduled for 2018. Ultimately, Lance was part of that international tour between, during the summer between his sophomore and junior year in high school. I was also blessed and fortunate to be able to chaperone this unforgettable tour with an amazing group of students. In January of his freshman year, Lance was part of the first ever Think Oink project. He was in the greenhouse the night that Betty White farrowed her litter of piglets. A week later, Lance purchased one of those piglets, brought Sparky home at the end of March, showed her at the FFA and County Fair that summer, and this experience ultimately led to his own breeding operation. It has also led him to his supervised agricultural experiences. During his four years in FFA, Lance kept records on two entrepreneurship SAEs as well as five placement SAEs. He was involved in different career development events. He participated in Ag Mechanics CDE, as well as agronomy CDE. In this agronomy CDE, he learned about different seeds, different weeds, different soil types, and these are all things that he will ultimately use in his future career path. All of this has enhanced Lance's communication and public speaking skills, and it has tremendously boosted his confidence. All of this has also led Lance to earning his state FFA degree, being a two-time state winner in the area of diversified horticulture and diversified crop production, as well as a national finalist in diversified horticulture and diversified crop production. And just this year, he was named star over Illinois in ag placement. We cannot be more proud of the person that Lance has become. And it is because of this program. This program has definitely brought Lance out of his shell, developed his communication skills, and made him the person he is today. He is, a current, he is currently attending Illinois Valley Community College, working toward a degree in agronomy. He hopes to follow a career path in agronomy and at some, some, someday return to the family farm to manage the fourth generation of our family operation. Now, I was never part of FFA when I was in high school. I was one of those people that thought FFA was just about agriculture, and it just wasn't for me. It wasn't until Lance joined the FFA program that I quickly learned that there was way more to FFA than just agriculture. It's about communication. It's about leadership. It's about career development and all things that have made these students, including my son, the people that they are today. I am so fortunate to have been part of this program and am currently an, an FFA alumni. These kids inspire me with their successes, with the goals that they have, with their achievements, and I am so proud of this year's seven state degree recipients. So congratulations to all seven of you. Congratulations 
to all of the members that advanced in their CDEs, to the members that advanced in their own individual proficiency areas. It's just amazing the things that you guys have done. And this program has done remarkable things in the past few years. The students, the officer teams, the parents, the alumni that support this program have made this program what it is today. We have definitely put Streeter FFA on the map. But none of this would even begin to be possible without everything that Mr. Hinchy has done. Now I know that he doesn't like to be recognized and doesn't always want to hear the words thank you, but he's living his dream. He always says that it takes a village, but every village has a leader. And Mr. Hinchy is our leader and is one of the best leaders that FFA could have. So again, congratulations to all the state degree recipients, to all the CDE students, to all the proficiency winners, and to Mr. Hinchy for making the Streeter FFA chapter the success that it is today. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ben Donahue, father of Mackenzie Donahue. FFA allowed Mackenzie to grow from a shy little girl that did not even want to go to school her sophomore year into an outgoing young woman. Her SAE project at Stock and Field required her to learn about customer service, to learn about problem solving, to learn about merchandising and displaying merchandise. Her record book at Stock and Field was a fun thing to keep track of because she would put it off but then would go on and do pages and pages a night. She learned skills about dealing with customers, problem solving, dealing with wants and needs of different people. The impact on her future is going to be very good because she will be able to problem solve and come up with different and out of the box solutions. We're very proud of Mackenzie. She has gone, like I said, from a shy, quiet girl who was crying her sophomore year to not want to go in to an outgoing young woman who really just wants to succeed and for everyone around her to be happy. Her future plans include two years at IVCC, two to three years at Southern Illinois University Carbondale, and then possibly vet school for her horses. Thank you. Hello, I'm State Representative Lance Yednock. And I am honored to be selected to read the name of an award recipient for this year's Streeter Agricultural Class Leadership Awards. Congratulations to the class, Mr. Hinchy, and the proud parents on your accomplishments. You have all made our community proud. The Streeter High School Ag Program is arguably the best in the state, and that is the result of all the hard work of the students and their teacher. I really enjoyed visiting the program, observing your projects, and touring your classrooms. I have the privilege of sitting on the House Agriculture Committee in Springfield, and that puts all of you with a direct line to help us shape farm policy in the state of Illinois. And that is one of the reasons you are in the Ag Program, to be the next generation of producers, business owners, and leaders. And I am looking forward to the future communications with all of you. To further my connection to agriculture, I was able to secure a grant to help build the IVCC Agriculture Program, and I hope all of you continue your education in their program. You are all learning about leadership. Being a leader is hard. You strive to achieve goals, gain the respect of your peers, and live with your failures. This class is just the beginning or a step in the process of being future leaders, and I am excited for your futures. Now to the award. Every year we recognize a member or members who have shown leadership throughout this past year. The student is one that goes above and beyond regular attendance and service. This member has stepped up to take a leadership role in the FFA this past year. Student work in committees, chairing committees, working as an officer, and attending leadership camps and conferences are considered for this award. We would like to congratulate Taylor Irvin as this year's 2020 Leadership Award winner. Congratulations, Taylor, and I'm sure there is a very bright future ahead of you. My name is Amber Matsko and I will be presenting the Achievement Award tonight. The Achievement Award is given to promote overall participation of an FFA member. This award is for the member who has been a consistent participant in our FFA activities. 
They are often considered the workhorse of the FFA chapter. The members' individual participation as well as their dedication to the FFA chapter are considered. I am proud to announce that this year's Achievement Award winners are Lance Mortz and Aaliyah Ogle. Congratulations! Hi, I'm Tara Bidai, and as a former FFA member and secretary of the Streeter FFA chapter, it's a pleasure to announce the Outstanding Non-Senior Award. The Outstanding Non-Senior Award is presented to a first, second, or third year member who goes above and beyond the normal member to ensure that the Streeter FFA chapter is successful. We've had numerous members step up and take a leadership role this year, and that's what makes our chapter great. This year's Outstanding Non-Seniors Award goes to Braden Mosco, Ivory Wright, and Janice White. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Every year, each chapter in the state gets to recognize one student with the DeKalb Agricultural Award. This national award program recognizes members' commitment to agriculture, an outstanding SAE program, outstanding leadership, and their development to helping other members in their chapter. It also is awarded to those that show dedication, work ethic, and motivation. This member will receive a DeKalb Agricultural Award pin, a certificate with his or her name that will be added to a plaque in the Ag Room. This year's DeKalb Agricultural Award winner is Lance Mortz. In the fall of 2014, when I first arrived at Streeter Township High School, I remember being truly amazed by the generosity of the individuals within the ag community and Streeter FFA alumni members that sponsored scholarships for senior Streeter FFA members to pursue higher education. Today, I still stand here with amazement and think of how our alumni and our ag community are supporting these seniors as they pursue their hopes, dreams, and goals for their future. Today, we're gonna to revisit our scholarship donors as well as our recipients. We'll spend time taking a look at the Baker Scholarship, the Sweden Scholarship, the Larry Kolb Honorary Scholarship, the Schroeder Scholarship, the Henry Scholarship, and finally, the Educators Award. It's with this that I am excited to recognize these seniors. Hello everyone, my name is Christina McCormick. I'm a former FFA officer, current alumni member, and a Spanish teacher at Streeter Township High School. I'm incredibly honored to be here today at your 2020 virtual banquet to present to you two very deserving scholarship recipients. Lance Moritz was the recipient of the Sweden Scholarship, and Aliyah Ogle was the recipient of the Baker Scholarship. Congrats to these two individuals on all of their hard work over the last several years. You continue to make Streeter proud. As a treasurer of the Streeter FFA Alumni Organization, it is my pleasure to recognize the recipient of the Larry Kolb Honorary Scholarship. Larry Kolb was an instructor at Streeter Township High School for over 30 years, and each year we represent a $1,000 scholarship in his name. And we are happy to announce that Lance Mortz was the receiver of this scholarship in 2020. Good evening, my name is Kathy Darrow. I started my Streeter High School career in 1996 working with Larry Kolb in the Ag Department. Since then, I have become a part of the Ag Advisory Council, as well as now working in the Guidance Office here at Streeter High School. I am honored tonight to speak on behalf of the Willer Schroeder Agricultural Scholarship. Willer Schroeder was a farmer west of Streeter for many years. After his death, his wife Wilma 
established a trust and scholarship in his name. The recipient of this scholarship should either be pursuing an ag major in college or be a member of the FFA. The trust had earned enough money to award $1,000 scholarships for the past 26 years. With the trust funds diminishing, however, the recipient for the 1920 scholarship won $500, and there is only enough money to award three more years of $500 scholarships. The Streeter High School Guidance Office, as well as the Ag Department, have hopes in keeping this important scholarship going with the help from the alumni and other outside resources. At this time, I am proud to announce that the winner of the 1920 27th Annual Willard Schroeder Scholarship is Taylor Irvin. Taylor is attending IVCC this year with plans to transfer to Illinois State University in normal and study agricultural education. Thank you. Um, a little background on the, the award and why there is an award. Um, Harley and Mary Henry uh, had a farm in uh, Deer Park Township uh, in the corner of Streeter High School's uh, district. And they farmed a neat farm with a combination of livestock and grain. They purchased uh, their first farm in 1942 and they raised uh, cucumbers, cattle, sheep, hogs, and chickens on their farm. Uh, it was a successful operation and, uh, throughout the years, and their estate at the end of their life approached $1 million. They were one of the few farmers in the area to, in that time frame, who had a successful career in farming without help from parents or relatives. Um, it is this spirit of entrepreneurship that led their children and grandchildren to sponsor the Harley and Mary Henry Ag Award. The purpose of the award is to encourage and promote the idea that hard work and good management can result in a successful career in farming. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the, the uh, recipient of this year's award. Uh, this year's recipient has been very involved in uh, Streeter FFA throughout his career there in the chapter. Um, this young man uh, plans to attend IVCC in the fall of 2020 in an agribusiness uh, field along with a welding uh, interest. Um, he's been very, very active and an officer in Streeter FFA and he fits the bill very, very well for what the Henrys had in mind for, uh, for this award. He has been uh, instrumental in his family's uh, landscaping business and also uh, has raised some pigs and some show pigs over the last few years on his own uh, with his family and his sister and that. Um, he's also... Uh, worked on the family's grain farm in rural Streeter and uh, is a very, very uh, good fit for this award. So this year, I'd like to announce that the Harley and Mary Henry Ag Award goes to Lance Moritz. And we would sure like to congratulate Lance and wish him the best in the future of agriculture. Thank you. Every year, an anonymous donor sponsors what is known as the Educators Award. The Educators Award goes to an individual within the Agricultural Department that shows great growth, high expectations for themselves, is willing to work with others, and has set goals beyond their high school years. This year's Educators Award goes to Mackenzie Donahue. Congratulations, Mackenzie. It is with pride that I say thank you to these scholarship donors for not only their time, their energy, but also their ability to sponsor our next generation in higher education. We look forward to watching these individuals pursue their dreams and someday give back to Streeter Township High School. 
Thank you very much. Well, good evening, everyone, and I hope that you've um, enjoyed this. Um, I really do. Um, this is an experience that is different for all of us, and um, a banquet this late in the year I know seems a little bit silly, but I think the best thing that I can say is um, for the students, the members, the parents, you had so many people that stood behind you and rallied for you for this to happen. And um, although I sit here and wonder what a in-person banquet would have been like, um, I also appreciate those that um, stood behind these kids and stood behind our chapter and said, you know, we have to do something. And so as you can tell, um, this virtual banquet is a accumulation of a wide variety of amazing people in our community that uh, really, really, um, have worked hard from our mayor of our town to our superintendent and our principal, as well as um, the multiple community members, alumni members, and past students and everybody in between um, that were willing to rally to make sure that tonight happened. Um, and it comes <laughs> to that point in the night that uh, I get to um, do a little reflecting and I get to see how this year, how this year meant to me. And uh, you're right, it was hard. It was hard on everyone. Um, but I hope that we can find the joy. And that's what I hope to do now is um, reflect on the top five moments that I had this year um, as an ag teacher and FFA advisor of some really awesome students. So um, my first one that I have to talk about this evening is National FFA Convention. Um, what? A memorable convention and I don't know if I can I can if I'll ever have one this memorable again um, traveling with a food science team national proficiency uh, finalist um, as well as having a dear friend of ours as a national officer and just a wide variety of different things um, our food science team uh, placed 11th in the nation these four individuals that consist of this team are Mackenzie Donahue uh, Tristan Geary, Aliyah Ogle, and Caden Stasco. Um, crazy, crazy proud of this this group of four. Um, they went through summer training, they went through fall training, um, and they did a wide variety of different things to make it work. And um, through one kid, one student being in college, one doing full time job, another one being a full time job and being in school, and then another one um, being a high school student, they worked extremely hard. And I, I can't be any more proud of the hard work that they put in. Um, we left for convention a couple days early and they practiced and worked and they, they worked so hard um, to bring that 11th place in the, place in the nation home to Streeter. Um, second one was um, the uh, multitude of parents that made their way to national convention to not only experience convention, but um, to support these kids and say, you know, whatever you need, we'll do whatever you need. Um, thank you to Jody Ogle. Thank you to Ben and Julie Donahue. And thank you to Mary Mortz um, that got on that bus, drove to Indianapolis and did whatever they could and whatever we needed done. Um, thank you for escorting those 20 students around Indianapolis for the week. Um, Lance Mortz, national finalist in the area of diversified horticulture. Um, he stood on stage as one of the top four finalists in the nation. And um, that smile was genuine and exciting to watch. Um, an experience of a lifetime for me. Um, it's a little bit stressful. Um, and I think the food science team can let you know uh, I ran three blocks, three, four blocks just to get to them um, in order to make it so I can listen to how they awarded. And um, enough about me, but it was just exciting and stressful. And every, every emotion rolled into one, as Jason Aldean says. Um, but it was, it was great. And then again, I mentioned before having a national officer that was a dear friend of our chapter. That was truly outstanding. Um, next one comes to our community. Thank you. Um, we started the Give the Gift of Blue for Streeter this year. And, um, this spring had multiple donors that said, what do you need? We'll sign a check and sponsored an FFA jacket for our members. And I believe at this point we're at 26 jackets that have been sponsored for our members. Um, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, it, it means a lot knowing that we have 
community members that are willing to sponsor kids to get them into that blue jacket, and that's very exciting. Uh, we had three state SAE qualifiers this year. Um, another truly outstanding thing, there's only 52 in the state, and we had, or 52 um, different areas in the state, and to have three state qualifiers is phenomenal. Um, Aliyah Ogle in the area of ag processing, Helena Ogle in the area of food service, and Lance Moritz in the area of diversified crop production. Um, just having three state qualifiers is outstanding. Um, Aliyah went on to win uh, ag processing as a state winner, and Lance Moritz won diversified crop production. Um, in the uh, so very very exciting. And Helena, I we we couldn't be proud more proud of you. You worked hard at your SAE and you really, really shined through and you really gained so much from that um, that you have demonstrated not only um, in everyday life, but in your job as well. So uh, congratulations to all three of you. Um, to counter that, we also had two state stars uh, to give you a general idea of how that rolls out. Um, there's a total of four state stars every single year in the state of Illinois, only four. Out of 17,000 plus FFA members, four are awarded in their state star. And Streeter is home of two of those four state stars. And that is Aaliyah Ogle um, in the area of agribusiness and Lance Mortz in the area of ag, or ag placement, excuse me. Um, congratulations to you both. Uh, to counter that as well, we also had seven state degree recipients. Um, seven is the largest number Streeter has seen in many, many, many years. Um, so these seven um, worked so hard at their record books and worked so hard at their SAEs and uh, made um, a lot of money, gained a lot of experience, and I mean the list only goes on. And these seven were Taylor Irvin, uh, Aaliyah Ogle, Helena Ogle, Cora Walker, Mackenzie Donahue, Jacob Black, and Lance Mortz. Um, congratulations to all seven of you. Um, and I can't, I can't say enough about this last year's officer team. If you want to see a team that made changes and made changes quickly and efficiently and effectively to the betterment of not only themselves but for their chapter, this team was it. Um, they were motivated. They were always willing to try new things. And they were always willing to do whatever they could for their members. And that was truly eye-opening and outstanding. Um, we've had other teams that have done the exact same thing. and th But this team just rose to every single challenge that they possibly could. And they really, really worked hard. An example of this is um, this last year, even with COVID, they raised roughly $1,500 um, to donate to other FFA chapters to help members with their SAE projects or their chapter in the time of crisis. Um, so uh, when the Nebraska had many multiple natural disasters, um, our officer team band together to get members involved to raise money for a student in Nebraska that um, all of his fence was ripped out from the flood and he had no way to contain his cattle. And that's just one example. Um, additionally, um, this is for this year, but um, this team led Streeter FFA and Streeter Ag Program to not only being um, one of the top chapters in the nation for the second year in a row, but also a national finalist in the area of, of strengthening agriculture. So uh, the chapter has been named one of the top 10 in the nation in the area of strengthening agriculture. And we find out those results next week. So it's very exciting. Overall, um, <laughs> excuse me, I get a little teared up. Uh, an amazing year, um, an impactful year. Um, I'm gonna miss this group of seniors because they kept me on my feet and they pushed and they pushed hard. And I know I pushed them and they pushed me and that's what really made it phenomenal. Um, I know all of them are going to go on to do great things and they have already started down their own individual career paths and I couldn't be more excited to watch them grow, expand, and see what they truly do with the rest of their lives. Whether that be in trades, whether that be in agronomy, whether that be in entrepreneurship, whether it be in food service, I am truly impacted um, by not only this group of seniors, but this year as an ag teacher and FFA advisor. Once again, thank you to um, so many that made tonight worth it and made tonight possible. I realize it's six months a little late, but um, we're excited that we had a chance to recognize 
all the efforts that our community and these students have done. Thank you very much. As we conclude our evening, um, it becomes customary that I have that moment to um, acknowledge our seniors for the year. And this has to be, or this is, um, the largest senior class that I had. Um, some of the seniors are very, very, very motivated and involved in the FFA, and others chose not to be involved in the FFA, and that's completely okay. Um, when I take a look at this class of seniors, it there is such a wide variety of different dif or differences among the group, and that makes it exciting because it makes you wonder um, what our future is going to look like in the hands of these young individuals and um, what their goals are and what their ambitions are. And I've gotten to learn a little bit about all of them or in some cases more about others. And um, I only hope that uh, in the future that they uh, not only continue to pursue their goals and are looking forward to the next thing for them, but um, when we see each other, that it is a, hey, how are you? And um, we hope everything continues to go well, kind of a conversation. Um, but I'm going to kind of work my way down the line. Um, as I mentioned, some of them I know extremely well and um, know a lot of things about them and others. I, I never had that opportunity. And that's part of, um, sometimes part of my job as a teacher is I don't always get to know all of my students um, as well as others. But um, first, I'm going to start with Taylor Urban. Um, Taylor Urban is currently attending Illinois Valley Community College and um, will be transferring to Illinois State University after completing her time at Illinois Valley Community College. Um, is going to major in agricultural education. Um, Taylor, I wish you the best, and I hope that uh, your time in agricultural education is just as rewarding and as much fun as I've had. Um, and you have the opportunity to challenge and change students' lives. Um, Haley Dimmig um, is definitely the one that brought the most personality um, to my teaching career. Um, always kept me on my toes. Um, Haley um, just um, finished, I believe, boot camp in, for the Army. And um, I've actually talked with her since, and she really, really enjoyed it. And she's really, really loving what she's doing with her life. And I can't be more excited for her. Um, I'm really looking forward to see what her future brings. Um, Helena Ogle is currently at Illinois Valley Community College in the nursing program and is excited to become a nurse um, like one of her family members. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what um, innovative approaches she brings to the nursing industry. Um, as I've known Helena um, for the last four years, she always has that innovative approach and um, it's very exciting to watch her move on to her next career. Um, Anna, Anna is, is on, or Anna Nelson, excuse me. Um, Anna is attending school in Bloomington. I was also with wanting to be a nurse. Um, I remember sitting with her this last spring and us sitting down and talking about scholarships and the nursing program and um, everything that she was excited about. And I can't wait to see um, how she applies some of the things that she learned um, at Streeter High School to um, her position as a nurse, specifically as she was involved in the Vet Science CDE. Um, Lance Mortz um, is a freshman at or attending Illinois Valley Community College. He's planning to attend for a two-year agronomy de degree, um, and then we'll come back to the family farm and assist on the family farm and through the family business. Um, so excited to watch um, Lance continue to move on with the next generation. Cora Walker um, is currently at Illinois Valley Community College and um, will be planning to transfer to JJC to enroll in the Vet Tech program. Um, it's very exciting. Uh, Cora has always been an animal lover and has taken any chance she can to, um, excuse me, gain the animal approach within the ag room. So we're very excited for Cora. Mackenzie Donahue is also at Illinois Valley Community College. Um, she is planning to transfer to Southern Illinois University uh, Carbondale, and she wants to um, have the potential or have the opportunity and potential to become a equine veterinarian. So I'm really excited for um, Mackenzie, being a horse lover myself, um, to watch her pursue that path. Um, Jacob, Jacob Black, um, Jacob is. 
um, currently um, working uh, uh, in the family farm, um, and he uh, returned to that this last spring. He uh, did job or he did the work program through Vactor, and he really enjoyed his experience. Um, but uh, with COVID nineteen, it led him back to the family farm and working um, on Black Farm and Black Black Farms. Excuse me. And I know he's really enjoyed that, um, and he's looking forward um, to a bright future in either welding or the farming industry. So I'm really excited for him. Dominic, um, Dominic Selvage, um, Dominic and I always had an awesome communication. Um, and I really enjoyed having Dominic in class because Dominic was the one that always reminded me that there's always something to look forward to. And um, although I didn't have him involved in a lot of FFA activities, um, it was always fun to have him in class and he always reminded me every single day that there's something to look forward to. Um, Sierra Dellinger. Uh, Sierra um, was kind of like my shock, as I like to say, because um, she came in as a junior, was really, really quiet. Um, and then all of a sudden bursted out of her shell and became actively involved in the Streeter FFA chapter and had a lot of success in a short amount of time um, with not only her SAE, um, but a wide variety of other different events. Um, she currently works at um, Country Cupboard, and I believe she's um, looking into attending college within the next year. Um, for a wide variety of other seniors that I had, Avalyn, Joe, Jesse, Sebastian, William, um, I, I'm sorry to say that I, I didn't have that opportunity to get to know you as well as I wanted to. Um, I'm really looking forward to, um, what your future holds and I hope that I get to see you soon. And I really hope, um, that life is full of so much for you because beyond the walls of Streeter High School, there is so, so, so much to do and there's so many exciting things to follow. And as I looked, I apologize, I did forget one senior that I spent some more time with, uh, Claire Phyllis. Uh, Claire, I am ex I can't tell you how excited I am to watch you pursue your future career. Um, if I remember correctly, it was in um, the medical field as well. Um, but uh, Claire, Claire, the way that you synthesize information and the way you put things together has always amazed me. And I'm really looking forward to what your future holds and hoping to see you and the rest of your family um, here within the next, uh, soon. <laughs> but um, to all my seniors this last year, I, I really hope that you learned something from me. And whether that is um, that life is too short or um, mistakes happen or communication is key, um, there, there's a wide variety of things that I hope you took away from my class. And um, I really hope that you use those things in your everyday life and that you are able to really um, set forth your goals and achieve them. Life is too short to sit idle. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad week. Um, but what is not okay is for you to pitch a tent, start a fire and stay there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, life is full of so much, and I know I've said that multiple times, but don't ever get to the point where you pitch a tent and just stay there. Keep moving forward, keep achieving your goals, keep finding and capturing your dreams, and doing whatever sets your heart on fire. We will miss you, class of 2020. We will miss you. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you wanna go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means the most to you And if one door opens to another door closed I hope you keep on walking till you find the window If it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything more than anything My wish for you Is that this life becomes All oh, that you want it to Your dreams stay big Your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold And while you're out there Getting where you're getting to I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same thing
love you in the place you live I hope you always forgive And you never regret And you help somebody every chance you get Oh, you find God's grace in every mistake And always give more than you take But more than anything Yeah, more than anything
Headed down south to the land of the pines I'm thumbing my way to North Carolina Staring up the road and pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet dogwood flowers And I'm hoping for Riley I can see my baby tonight So rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama any way you feel Hey 